the pictures we are seeing in Gaza and Israel are heart-wrenching. Uh, people here in the United States care deeply about what's happening there, and I know there are strong views as well as differences about how we should move forward, which is part of American democracy. We welcome that debate. Uh, that makes us stronger. Our goal uh, has been and continues to be peace and security for both Israelis and Palestinians. Uh, now, I will say very clearly, no country can accept rockets fired indiscriminately at citizens. And so we've been very clear that our, uh, Israel has the right to defend itself against uh, what I consider to be inexcusable attacks from Hamas. At the same time, on top of the humanitarian crisis in Gaza that we've lo worked long and hard to alleviate, uh, the death and injury of Palestinian civilians is a tragedy, uh, which is why we've emphasized the need to protect civilians, regardless of who they are or where they live. I believe further escalation benefits no one, least of all the Israeli and the Palestinian people. So we're going to continue doing everything we can to facilitate a return to the 2012 ceasefire. We are encouraged that Egypt has made a proposal to accomplish this goal, which we hope can restore the calm that we've been seeking. More broadly, however, the situation in Gaza reminds us again that the status quo is unsustainable and that the only path to true security is a just and lasting peace between Israelis and Palestinians, where differences are resolved peacefully and in ways that respect the dignity of all people.